Hey guys, it is me, Hisama Unlimited, and today I'm tackling my top five most hated synchros in this game. I had to really narrow it down because I didn't have that many, so there are not that many synchros that I really dislike because I really like the synchro family of cards. So I said, you know, if I have to make a top ten, I might think I might want to narrow it down to a top five. Just making it simple and just pointing out the ones that I guess I strongly dislike overall than just naming some that I kind of mm, just don't really care that much about. So yeah, this is going to be my top five most hated synchro monsters in this game. If you would like to see another top five, top ten in the future, don't forget to like the video. I make one a month, so hopefully if you guys can get it 800 likes by next month, it will you will see another top 10 for next month so please and it's all oh, like i said it's always greatly appreciated so the like goal for this video is 800 so please do it thank you if any of you guys would like to take a little crack at it you should leave a comment below of what synchro do you think i might have on my list before you actually watch the video My number five has to go to Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Now you see for me is, I mainly dislike this card because of what I'm currently playing today. I'm not playing a lot of back row heavy type of cards, so when I see this card hit the field, I'm a very combo based player. So when I see a card like Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon hit the field, I know that my combos are basically useless and know that I can't really get around this card. And basically now with the Crimson Dragon card, you could easily summon this card from your extra deck with visibly no cost. And that also proves to be a big, uh, error in my combos and that really hurts me but personally crystal wing synchro dragon is an amazing card just not an amazing card that you would like to face because especially for me like i said before i don't really have the the resources to fight back this overpowered card so because of that and my uh my hindrance and my weakness to it i have to give it a slot on this list so number five has to go to crystal wing synchro dragon thank god this card was just not a generic level eight synchro that just took one tuner and one or more non-tuners because if you know if this card took regular cards and not another synchro to make it god god help me Azure Eye Silver Dragon, I'm actually very happy that the whole Blue Eyes family actually got support. So it's actually not a bad deck. The Blue Eyes deck is actually topping in the OCG, so it's only a matter of time, I believe, before it tops over here. But the one thing about Azure Eye Silver Dragon, because I'm not going to count Spirit, I'm counting Azure Eye Silver Dragon, because this is what comes out on the field in the end. And Azure Eye Silver Dragon, it's just the immunity it has. I could still Utopia Lightning this card and find other ways to getting this card off the board. But the problem with Azure Eye Silver Dragon is this. If you don't get rid of this card off your opponent's field as quickly as possible you're most likely going to lose because bringing back a 3000 beat stick every single turn isn't easy to deal with remember as much as the game progressed and we have cards that could fucking end a game like this back in the day you know we always had 8,000 life points so it's like our life point counter never got up so it's just like so seeing this card is just like one of those things where it's like you know a 3,000 beat stick in my face every turn isn't easy to deal with so let me find a way to get rid of it so just because this card has just proven to me and i believe to everybody that if you do not get rid of this card off the field quickly you lost the game and i feel like that just puts a lot of pressure especially on myself to get rid of him and he's just he's just annoying because there are cards that you could just wait a little with but him you cannot wait <laughs> Cyframe Lord Omega, we're all guilty of using him, myself included. He's a great card. I just have seen him in so many combo based decks, especially with fucking Mizuki and Unizombi. And him bringing back Mizuki every single fucking turn is just fucking redundant. I, I personally dislike Omega alone just for that. But Cyframe Lord Omega, one quality that makes him extremely, extremely busted, in my opinion, is being able to not sit still. People know that I have. Right when the Ritual Beast archetype came out, I was just like, oh god, I hate decks that don't fucking sit the fuck still. The whole Cyframe Lord Omega has so many individual qualities that make this card a great card. It could help so many of your cards that end up banishing, reusing them, 
fucking with your opponent's hand and not being able to stand still so it's not easy to run over or destroying it during your opponent's battle phase when they decide to finally attack you. Psyframe Lord Omega also has a great attack stat. He's kind of easy to make. He's not difficult to summon, which makes him a card that I dread facing because when I see him, I'm like, oh my god, I just, I, I can't, I can't with you. You just, you cause me too much aggravation. Gradle Dragon, for the people that know this about me, I love the Gradle Archetype. Don't get me wrong. I love it. I love the concept that I always, people would always say, oh, what kind of archetype would you like to see? I always said slime. Slime, 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 slime. And they, everyone knows that I love the alien archetype. And I like aliens overall. So for me, making a slime alien archetype was perfect for me. I loved it. But the one quality with me is that its play style of Gradles was really obnoxious. They have a very obnoxious play style. And I most likely will go back to them at one point. But they have a very rude, rude style. And for me, facing it, and most of the time if you're using Gradle Dragon, you obviously destroyed fucking Eagle to play it. And then Eagle will steal something. And then you have a card that pops shit. Two cards. It's like one of those things where it's like, He's great. You can pop himself, bring back something. It's just, he ha he brings too much to the board. He's 3,000 beat stick. He's so strong. He's so good. The card is busted, and I fucking love it for being so busted as it is. But if I had to say, if I had to be on the receiving end of this card, I'd be fucking worried. If this card had nothing to do with slime or aliens, I fucking probably would despise this card. It's just because it's everything that I like that I'm like, eh, I'll give you a thumbs up. But if it was not, I would have probably been like, mm hate you but gradle dragon is a busted card nonetheless so facing it it has caused me to rage so many times gradle dragon in my opinion has to be in my top five hated synchros because i hate seeing him void ogre dragon i hate it based off the decks that kind of focused around it now you see, it is, in my opinion, the embodiment of what I hate in Yu-Gi-Oh, which is stun. The way I view Void Ogre Dragon is like this. A person that makes the deck and focuses around it, summons him, takes all their stun-related trap cards, set them below, pass to the opponent. Now your spells and traps are useless. Well, once per turn anyway. But the point of this is that when my opponent summons Void Ogre Dragon and he sets a whole bunch of back row, the chances of me removing this card off of a monster effect is rare because my opponent could have Psalm Strikes, Psalm Warning, Fiendish, God knows what to negate on the fucking back row below. And I, I just see it and most of the time I'm like, I, I always try. I'm like, you know what, I, I use Raigeki. Oh no, you negate it. Um, maybe I could use another spell card or something. Dark Rob, I don't know what it is. But it's just, you want to know what it is? I just have seen the worst than a Void Ogre Dragon. I've been stunned out by Void Ogre Dragon so much. I just hate this card. It's one of those cards where it's like, for me, it's like I can't find a redeeming quality to say because I, like I always say to people, I always say I never get the concept of when a person tells me, oh, I, I like stun and I'm like, I don't, I don't really get you because I'm a combo-based player. I like to play these cards that, you know, beat my opponent down. Like, I don't want to be like, you can't play Yu-Gi-Oh, so I win. All right, so... That was my video. It's a little hot in here, so I'm going to lift my hat up a bit. So yeah, if you would like to see another top 10 next month, don't forget to like the video. It's greatly appreciated. 800 likes is the goal. Leave your comments below about your top 5 hated synchro monsters in the game. If you got any synchros correct, I'm, I'm surprised and good for you. And yeah, so subscribe if you're new. I upload every 2-3 days from now. So yeah, I upload every 2-3 to three other days. So you see me about, I want to say, twice a week. So, yeah, I hope you guys all have a good day, and I will see you guys in probably mm, on the 3rd or the 4th. So, yes, have a good day.